Welcome to Yachting World's Heavy Weather Seamanship Series, produced in conjunction with Pantaneous Yacht Insurance. We're heading out into a big breeze today, 35, possibly 40 knots, so we're looking at storm cells. It's the 4 3 versus trysail issue and using your staysail as a storm jib. Well, the wind's come up here and we're going to do a little demonstration of putting a trysail up. We have three reefs in the main and a staysail blowing about 30. It's already getting top end for this sail plan. So we're going to uh, drop the, uh, the main, lash it up, bring out the storm trysail and rig it and just see how this whole thing works. As soon as we get that sail tie on there, we'll get the trysail on deck. Now this is a real game for about five people here. Imagine doing this two or alone. I'll do the sheets if you guys get, the, get it on and stacked up on the track. The trysail is a small emergency mainsail, loose-footed with two sheets that run back to the aft quarter. Now I'm going to throw, Elaine, I'm going to throw you the sheets over the top of the boom and you're going to run that back to that snatch block. The first thing we have to do is rig the sheets. The lured one has to go up and over the boom, and this is what I'm doing here. I'll go up and do the halyard. The tagline is going to go through that snatch block and up to the winch on the mast. The next step is to attach the halyard. To do that, I have to climb up on the boom and unshackle the halyard from the mainsail and attach it to the head of the trysail. We've got a dedicated trysail track alongside the main mast track. If you don't have one, you would have to unload the mainsail sliders from the mast track and use that, which is an enormous amount of work in an awkward position. Okay, Bertie, get ready to take the halyard slack up. Okay, let that go, David, let it go. You want to help Bertie on the halyard now? I'm holding the halyard here until they're ready to hoist, as it's important to prevent a loose halyard wrapping around the spreaders. Even though the sail is small, it can be hard to hoist because a strong wind here is pressing it against the boom. Okay. Here you see the tack of the sail with a tack line attached to the base of the mast, so the trysail can be set and fly above the stacked mainsail. Okay, Elaine, take in your sheet a bit. Well, there it is. Looks like it needs to go to the laundry. It hasn't seen the light of day in God knows uh, how many years. Well, we're sailing quite happily with the trysail, but it came at a cost. Uh, with six people to, to, to do the maneuver, and it took 25 minutes. So it was a bit of a mission. And as I said before, we're in flat water here between the islands as a demonstration. You wouldn't do this if you had to here. But if you were offshore in big sea, you could imagine what it would be like. All sorts of mistakes made. Nobody's really practiced enough at this type of thing. It's one of those things that uh, I'm not keen on. And I've got a better system. I'm going to show you now how to do it. Okay, and the alternative to this uh, trysail story is very simple. You have your sailmaker put in a fourth reef. A third reef is hugely too big on most sails overpowered in 25 to 30 knots generally. So a fourth reef is a simple solution to get the same area roughly as a trysail. And now we're gonna see how long that takes. It's actually quite a simple exercise, like taking any other reef. Okay, we're gonna, is everybody ready? Bertie's ready at the mast. Dave on the clue line, I'm on the halyard. Okay, okay halyard coming down. What you want to do is bring the sail down by lowering the halyard and taking it on the reef line at the same rate. That should prevent the sail from flogging and the reefing lines getting tangled. Okay. As you see, that was easy. From leaving the cockpit to sheeting on, it took only a few minutes. Provided you have anticipated and set up for the fourth reef immediately after putting in the third, it is very quick and painless. Going over 40 knots now. I think it's about time to head for the barn. We're headed for an anchorage now, 
but with a fourth reef and our permanently rigged storm staysail, we could comfortably carry on.